Well, their announcement that they are going to basically stop importing all U.S. farm and commodities uh, products, um, to quote our president, Zippy Duval, uh, when he said yesterday, uh, it is a body blow. And I don't know any other way to describe it. Uh, it is a punch in the gut that is just taking away one of the most important and, and largest markets that we've spent decades developing. We did $9 billion worth of sales last year. And if that goes away, I mean, we've gone from, you know, a $20 billion market uh, to one, and one of our largest trading markets, uh, one of our top four, th you know, five markets. And now it's, you know, back down into where we were almost 20 years ago when we worked so diligently, uh, you know, for well over a decade and a half to get a market that bought very little U.S. agricultural products and commodities uh, up to a nearly at one point, 2014, I believe it was, we were at uh, nearly 23, 24 billion dollars in sales. So that kind of a hit, uh, not just on any one particular commodity, but all across the agricultural spectrum, uh, has got the markets just reeling from what this is going to mean, uh, particularly as we're just you know weeks, if not uh, a couple of months away from harvest in many parts of the country. You know, for years, China has been a challenge to deal with in, in a number of different ways, whether it's some of the new technologies that come on to help farmers in their production, you know, seed varieties, uh, crop protection uh, products, those kinds of things, getting that through China's regulatory scheme, uh, and I use that in all the ways you might define scheme. Uh, we've been wrestling trying to get them to come to the table and discuss some of these issues. And now, though, it's just turned into an, an all-out trade war, and farmers and ranchers are caught right square in the crosshairs. And not just the farmers and ranchers. I guess I'd, I want to make sure that that includes the you know, the, the other folks in the value chain that, that are part and parcel of putting agricultural commodities uh, into products that are part of what we export. Our farmers and ranchers tell us, you know, they appreciate that the president is in the fight to try and get China straightened out. They appreciate that he has provided, you know, some trade mitigation uh, tools like uh, the market facilitation payments, which help cover some of, of the impact that we're dealing with. Uh, but what we really need, what we really want, are these trade agreements like the USMCA, the Japan agreement, uh, getting the EU announcement out just last week on, on beef. Those kinds of things send a positive message, give some certainty as to what's going on in trade. But this China situation has gone on far too long and we need to get it resolved.